If point T, x sub 1, y sub 1, and O, x sub 2, y sub 2, are two points on the Cartesian plane, then the measure of line segment T O is the square root of the sum of the squares of x sub 2 minus x sub 1, and y sub 2 minus y sub 1. Let us have examples on how to determine the distance between two points. Find the distance between point P, 4, 3, and point T, 9, 15. To solve for the distance, let us determine first the given values. Let x sub 1 be equal to 4, y sub 1 equal to 3, x sub 2 equal to 9, and y sub 2 equal to 15. Use the distance formula to determine the distance between the two points. Substitute the given values. Then, simplify. Perform first the operation inside the parentheses. 9 minus 4 is equal to 5. And 15 minus 3 is equal to 12. 5 squared is equal to 25. And 12 squared is equal to 144. Then, get the sum of 25 and 144. 25 plus 144 is equal to 169. The square root of 169 is 13. That means, the distance between points P and T is 13 units. Let us have another example. Find the measurement of line segment LH. Identify first the coordinates of the endpoints. Point L is at negative 2, negative 1. While point H is at 4, 3. Let x sub 1 be equal to negative 2, y sub 1 equal to negative 1, x sub 2 equal to 4, and y sub 2 equal to 3. Use the distance formula to determine the measurement of line segment LH. Substitute the values, then simplify. 4 minus negative 2 is equal to 6. 3 minus negative 1 is equal to 4. 6 squared is 36. 4 squared is 16. Add 36 and 16. We now have square root of 52 or approximately equal to 7.21. Therefore, the measurement of line segment LH is square root of 52 units or approximately 7.21 units. Now, it's your turn. Try to answer the drill exercise. The vertices of triangle TEART, 1, 1, E, 4, 5 and A, 5, 2. First, show that triangle TEA is an isosceles triangle. Recall that an isosceles triangle has at least two congruent sides. Let us show that at least two sides of triangle TEA are congruent. Using the distance formula, let us determine the length of each side. To solve for the length of side TE, we have TE is equal to the square root of 4 minus 1 quantity squared, plus 5 minus 1 quantity squared. Subtract 1 from 4, and 1 from 5. We now have the square root of the sum of the squares of 3 and 4. 3 squared is 9, and 4 squared is 16. 9 plus 16 is 25. Get the square root of 25. The length of side TE is 5 units. To solve for the length of side EA, we have EA is equal to the square root of 5 minus 4 quantity squared, plus negative 2 minus 5 quantity squared. Subtract 4 from 5, and 5 from negative 2. We now have the square root of the sum of the squares of 1 and negative 7. 1 squared is 1, and negative 7 squared is 49. 1 plus 49 is equal to 50. Get the square of root of 50. The square root of 50 is 5, square root of 2. The length of side EA is 5, square root of 2 units. To solve for the length of side AT, we have AT is equal to the square root of 1 minus 5 quantity squared, plus 1 minus negative 2 quantity squared. Subtract 5 from 1, and negative 2 from 1. We now have the square root of the sum of the squares of negative 4 and 3. Negative 4 squared is 16 and 3 squared is 9. 16 plus 9 is equal to 25. Get the square of root of 25. The square root of 25 is 5. The length of side AT is 5 units. Since sides EA and AT are congruent, we can say that triangle TEA is an isosceles triangle.
Now, let us show that triangle TEA is a right triangle. In a right triangle, the square of the hypotenuse, the longest side, is equal to the sum of the squares of its legs, the two shorter sides. Let us show that EA squared is equal to TE squared plus AT squared. Take note that EA is the longest side since the square root of 50 is greater than 5. Substitute the length of each side in the equation. 50 is equal to 5 squared plus squared. 5 squared is equal to 25. We now have 50 is equal to 25 plus 25. 25 plus 25 is equal to 50. Since EA squared is equal to TE squared plus AT squared, we can say that triangle TEA is a right triangle. Let us have another example. The vertices of triangle SEA are S, 1, 1, E, 1, 4, and A, 5, 1. First, find the length of each side SE, EA, and AS. Let us use the distance formula to find the length of each side. SE is equal to the square root of 1 minus 1 quantity squared plus 4 minus 1 quantity squared. 1 minus 1 is 0, and 4 minus 1 is 3. 0 plus 9 is 9. The square root of 9 is 3. EA is equal to the square root of 5 minus 1 quantity squared plus 1 minus 4 quantity squared. 5 minus 1 is 4, and 1 minus 4 is negative 3. 4 squared is 16 and negative 3 squared is 9. 16 plus 9 is 25. The square root of 25 is 5. AS is equal to the square root of 1 minus 5 quantity squared plus 1 minus 1 quantity squared. 1 minus 5 is negative 4, and 1 minus 1 is 0. Negative 4 squared is 16. 0 squared is 0. 16 plus 0 is 16. The square root of 16 is 4. Therefore, SE is 3 units, EA is 5 units, and AS is 4 units. Next, let us determine the perimeter of triangle SEA. Recall that the perimeter is the distance around a two-dimensional shape. It is equal to the sum of the length of all its sides. The perimeter of triangle SEA can be determined by SE plus EA plus AS. Substitute the computed values. We now have 3 plus 5 plus 4. 3 plus 5 plus 4 is 12. Therefore, the perimeter of triangle SEA is 12 units. And lastly, let us determine the area of triangle SEA. Recall that the area is defined as the space occupied by a flat shape or the surface of an object. The area of a triangle can be solved using the formula A is equal to 1 half B times H, where B is the length of the base of the triangle, and H is the length of the height. To find the area of triangle SEA, determine first if it is a right triangle. If it is a right triangle, then the perpendicular sides are the base and height of triangle SEA. Let us determine whether the square of SE is equal to SE squared plus AS squared. We now have 5 squared equals 3 squared plus 4 squared. 5 squared is 25, 3 squared is 9, and 4 squared is 16. 9 plus 16 is 25. Thus, line segment SE is perpendicular to line segment AS. Let us now compute for the area of triangle SEA. A is equal to 1 half SE times AS. 1 half 3 times 4 is equal to 1 half times 12. 1 half of 12 is 6. Therefore, the area of triangle SEA is 6 squared units. Another method of finding the area of a triangle is by using the Heron's formula. It can be used when the length of the three sides are given. Heron's formula was named after Hero of Alexandria, a Greek engineer and mathematician in 10 to 70 AD. In Heron's formula, A is equal to the square root of the quantity of S times S minus A times S minus B times S minus C, where A is the area of the triangle, S is the semi-perimeter, and A, B, and C are the lengths of the sides. To determine S, use the formula S is equal to A plus B plus C all over 2. Let us determine the area of triangle SEA using the Heron's formula. 
Determine first s. We have s is equal to 3 plus 5 plus 4 all over 2. 3 plus 5 plus 4 is 12. 12 divided by 2 is 6. Compute for a. a is equal to the square root of the quantity of 6 times 6 minus 3, times 6 minus 5, times 6 minus 4. 6 minus 3 is 3, 6 minus 5 is 1, and 6 minus 4 is 2. 6 times 3 times 1 times 2 is 36. The square root of 36 is 6. Therefore, the area of triangle SEA is 6 squared units. Now, it's your turn. Answer the drill exercise.